One of the th things that you point out in the documentary is it, it really a, uh, you refute what Joe just said about they're not trying to trash tap water, if you will, or disparage tap water. But you say that in very insidious ways, water, uh, bottled water companies do do just that. How so? Well, I mean, I think they did it in the clip you just showed, too, when she showed the water's tested before it goes through these old pipes. You know, she really got in there to show you how awful those pipes were. But when you look, um, there, there, there are people on records. Um, the vice president of uh, Pepsi said tap is our biggest enemy. Another person for Pepsi said when we're done, tap water will be relegated to washing dishes and cars. So they're on the record as having said that. Or you see their advertisements always saying how pure and fresh that their water is, or Fiji did a campaign saying that um, it's bottled in Fiji, not in Cleveland. So they, they managed to undermine our confidence in our tap water. You also talked to an expert in the documentary that says water, tap water, is tested, I think, 300 times or 400 times, depending on the size of the municipality? Yeah, in a city of... How, a, how often? A month or how? A month. A city of 1 million is tested three or 400 times. A city of 3 million is tested between four and 500 times a month. So that's why we know instantly when there's a problem with our tap water is because it's constantly being tested. And then you did independent tests did. Uh, during the course of your documentary. And what did you find? We found, well, so we, we were trying to compare the results from an NRDC and an EWG study and other independent studies that have been done that have found phthalates and other chemicals leaching in. And we found, we found similar findings to them. We found three types of phthalates leaching into the water. Um, and, you know, it basically confirmed all the other things that we'd been reading, that, that we found toluene, which is a, a component of, um, of gasoline. And so we're finding the very things that people are, are, were finding on their own that were in the water, we found them as well. And what did you think, uh, Joe, when you saw the results of that independent study that showed I think one of the toxicologists who was reviewing the results or epidemiologists or toxicologists said that the results were really shocking to him. What, what is your reaction to that? Well, I'm not sure which uh, person you're talking about. I didn't see the clip, and I, quite frankly, I, it's been a while since I've seen the movie, so I'm not specifically, I'm not certain I know specifically what well, there, do you remember they to. did some independent studies, uh, two different ones, um, and then they were both reviewed by a toxicologist? Do you remember that at but, all? Well, I, I don't specifically, but let me just say this. If there is anything in bottled water that exceeds the limits that are set, then that bottled water should be off the market. Um, and so, I mean, that's the fact. But I, I will say to you that I, I think that, first of all, the reason uh, we have gone out in those YouTube videos and other ways is, as you pointed out, Katie, we are being criticized for being uh, less regulated than tap water. And so we're just sharing the facts, and those are the facts. And as a matter of fact, the Government Accountability Office released a report in 2009, which they had surveyed all state health uh, administrations and agencies and found that in the past five years, there had been not one single illness reported uh, concerning bottled water. But yet, there is CDC information, the Centers for Disease Control information, that shows that um, there are approximately 19 million acute gastrointestinal illnesses associated with tap water each year. So those are the facts. And so when we are uh, being asked and being criticized for not being as safe as tap water and uh, for not being as regulated as tap water, then we are just basically responding with the facts.